up guys, Chris back again with some more helpful health advice for you to improve your life. Now today, we're gonna look a little deeper at uh, what's called fenugreek. So fenugreek is something that you're gonna commonly see all over the internet that's included in a lot of test booster formulas. Now, they, they have a lot of claims that fenugreek increases testosterone levels, but I'd like to take an even closer look and um, analyze the relationship between the testosterone DHT and prolactin that is involved with consuming fenugreek. So fenugreek actually contains a compound that a lot of guys don't know about, uh, but is questionable for men to be consuming, uh, known as galactagogs. And galactagogs are, are, they sound like they're something from Star Wars or Star Trek, uh, but it's actually a compound that is well known to increase levels of a hormone known as prolactin. And prolactin is something that guys do not want to be increasing. They use these compounds to actually increase uh, lactation in pregnant women. And it's well known that that is a good purpose for them. Uh, fenugreek is very rich in these, so you might not wanna be increasing your prolactin because as prolactin increases, uh, you're also gonna have problems with gynecomastia, you're gonna have problems with estrogen production and lowered testosterone production. So you're probably still wondering what does it actually do to testosterone production because that's the main claim that everyone says uh, is good for fenugreek. So, here's the reality, is that while a lot of the studies out there show an increase in testosterone production, first off, most of these studies are actually sponsored by companies that sell fenugreek, therefore you can only take that with a grain of salt. And then second, fenugreek is actually shown to inhibit DHT synthesis, which is the only reason why it's, it would actually increase circulating testosterone levels, which is kind of also concerning because anytime you inhibit DHT synthesis, you're gonna run into other health issues. Uh, just go search the finasteride forums and you'll see all the symptoms and, and how um, DHT inhibition for some people's body chemistry can be extremely dangerous. And uh, you're really just flipping a coin to see if that happens to you or not. So that's not a good way to increase testosterone uh, because it really is a false flag. It's a false, uh, a false positive, essentially, because it's just taking testosterone that would already have been produced, that would have been converted to DHT, and it's just keeping it circulating by blocking that DHT conversion. So you're not actually producing more testosterone, you're just showing an increase in circulating testosterone. So long story short, would I recommend you take fenugreek? Uh, it, the, the answer is no. I don't think it's good for men to be actively increasing their prolactin levels. I also don't think it's good to be actively inhibiting your DHT conversion uh, just to have a higher testosterone number because you're not going to experience any of the benefits of actually having a higher natural testosterone production in general. So I would say no. I would say to opt more for herbs like uh, ashwagandha and forskolin because they're also shown to actively help with thyroid hormone and there's actually research showing that fenugreek is anti-thyroid so for all the ways that fenugreek falls short things like ashwagandha and forskolin actually are great and are uh, you know doing a great job at helping the body so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video Hey guys, Chris here again. Uh, I just wanted to take a second and actually tell you about my company and uh, our mission. The company's called Truth Nutra and uh, we're building a really great community and uh, a host of, of uh, products, of formulas that uh, are based on the idea that you can heal yourself and your body uh, with nutrients. And you can, so things that typically people go to, uh, they go and they'll take drugs, some, some kind of pharmaceutical because they think that's the only option. Uh, I'm actively, passionately educating people about the, the power of natural nutrients and herbs. And this, you know, includes, when I say nutrients, I mean like vitamins and minerals and the scientific basis also for their effectiveness. At this point, we are now approaching uh, having a hundred thousand customers that are are happy customers and we actually have um, Things in place because I want to make sure that our customer we're constantly serving the needs of our customers So we have so things like a 60-day uh, No questions asked money back guarantee So if for any reason you purchase one of our supplement formulas and you don't like it 
All you have to do is let us know. We'll give you your money back, no questions asked. We're also opening up a phone service, so we're going to have um, you know coaches just calling, checking in, seeing if we can help you guys in any way. So I'm really actively looking at building this community to make it great, and one of the great elements of it is all the people that watch my YouTube channel. Uh, I really appreciate you guys, and so I wanted to offer you a YouTube subscriber discount. So if you use the discount code YouTube at checkout, you will get an additional 10% off of your order. So over at truthnutri.com, uh, you can add to your card anything that you'd like. And if you use YouTube at checkout, you'll get that discount. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.